Oh snap, Blaze is going live. $40,000 tonight for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the killer of a rookie New York City police officer. 22-year-old Edward Byrne was shot as he sat in his squad car guarding the home of a witness in a drug trial. Jim Dahl reports on the intense manhunt in the Queens neighborhood where it happened and on yet another victim in the war on drugs. For the life of me, we got the round table. The round table was an organization created by CAT. You had Pappy, you had Prince, Preen, Bug Out, and myself. And when you're gonna do something, a lot of shit should have been approved. That move right there was not approved. How can you take it upon yourself and order the execution style of a fucking cop? You just took it upon yourself to do that shit. By doing that, that was the second dumbest shit in history that destroyed fucking fat cat organization and not only that everybody from fat cat mother pappy mother all the fat cat sisters yeah. his nieces everybody his wife his girlfriend me everybody that was part of that organization we all went down all because one individual decided that they want to more fucking take out a cop and not just take out a cop take out a rookie fucking police cop that didn't do shit to you i said to him what purpose are you going to kill that cop he said i have an order from pappy mason to kill a cop and i'm also being paid to kill this cop and if i find out that you have anything to do with my arrest or anything to do with it i'll blow your brains out like i'm gonna blow his out don't get four idiots to more or less right now with execute the wrong fucking cop. I said, yeah, that's like, yeah, we, yeah, we did, we killed the cop, yeah, boop, boop, boop. So, Cat had every fucking right in the world to fucking be mad at fucking Pappy because Pappy destroyed his whole fucking organization. There's no effing about that. They stopped speaking behind that shit. And that's what caused the big fallout. In Washington today, President Reagan signed a new anti-drug bill. Passed in the final days of an election year Congress, it provides an additional $2.8 billion to the war against drugs. And everybody can say what the fuck they want to say. When you're in a fucking game, guess what? Certain shit you don't do. And that was one of them. Okay, so Yo Glaze, I just got to my favorite part of your book. This is Out of Prison as a New Person. So, page 308, May of 1998. That's actually when I had the pleasure of meeting you and we worked together on that 10:30 to 3 a.m. shift, which was crazy. Um my respect level just went up like 10 more notches for you. So I knew about your past. I knew about everything that had gone on. But what I didn't know is you were going from $40,000 a day to, I think we were making $12 an hour there. 
that night shift, something crazy. So for you to be able to have that work ethic of going from slanging easy rocks to slanging heavy packages and uh, working that night shift and just being the positive person you were that whole time and offering encouragement to everybody that worked that shift.